trying to put the water on my potato. This episode of My Two Satoshis is brought to you by Plutus Wallet. Do you have a crypto trading strategy you want to test out risk-free? Well, try it out with Plutus Wallet. Plutus Wallet casually teaches you cryptocurrency trading or the ability to test your own strategy. Learn to combine the best coins, create and collect profitable portfolios, and manage them all to the top. Install the Plutus Wallet from Google Play or Apple Store and use my referral code that you see on the screen to receive 100 Plutus coins as a bonus. This bonus only applies to Google Play Android apps. The Plutus Wallet, your chance to become a winner in the world of cryptocurrency. Yes, yeah, your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is June 10th, 2019. Shout out to my man Into the Fray. He's always dropping those hot tracks. He said he wanted me to play some Pimp C Shattered Dreams. This is that UGK classic right here, man. And Tyler D thinks the same. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for the song request. And shout out to everyone out there on YouTube. What's good? Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, we're going to get right back into it. Over the weekend, I took a little break, but I did. And I want you guys to check this out. I did a nice kicking it session with my man Gaston Cruz out from Long Beach very very good uh conversation we had about crypto education and just getting people aware of cryptocurrencies and how they should view what the asset is is it money is it an asset we had a great conversation about that over the weekend so i want you guys to definitely check that out when you get a chance again that's with gaston cruz so today we're going to be talking about siam bank they're denying that they had plans ever to integrate with XRP, though there were clearly tweets from them that said different. So I don't know what they're doing, but they're definitely denying they're working with XRP, which in, in my opinion, that's another reason I'm like, why even have XRP in your portfolio when these banks can do and create their own blockchain that, that can then connect with other blockchains at some point. So I don't see the need for an individual to invest in XRP when the banks at the end of the day want to have all the control anyway. They're not going to they're not going to relinquish that type of control to um, a private company you know what i mean so we'll see uh we'll take a look at this is out of coin speaker and also man this is this is pretty depressing i saw this this morning i gotta give a shout out to wolfpack cryptos he dropped this to me early this morning woke up to this link and was devastated essentially guys ccn is going to be shutting down due to a google update that happened on i believe june 3rd or second somewhere around that yeah june 3rd they did a uh, google did a core update with their google search algorithm and it totally messed them up that meaning ccn uh messed them up to the fullest they were self-funded you know they grew they've been going for over six years almost this update really hit them hard so we're going to take a look at this very uh unfortunate and it should show you and drive home to you guys that we need to start embracing some of these more decentralized uh, media outlets or platforms, social media, all that. Because we don't want any one company to have this much power over a good news outlet. CCN was a very good news outlet. They're going to be shutting down crazy. I read the whole article. I read the whole write-up from CCN, but we're going to take a look at what Cointelegraph is saying about it because they have a more condensed version. And then lastly, we've got news from Brave Browser, uh, some changes that are coming up in the web browser that I want to tell you guys about. And, uh, you know, I love this project. This is a very good example of how tokens should be implemented. Utility tokens should be implemented into a project. Uh, they have real users over six million i think six or seven million at this point they have a they have a real solid business model and their tokens are being utilized this is the type of project you want to use as a almost as a uh, litmus test or a barometer for other projects so many projects out there that it's been a year or two or even even close to three years and and there's still no strong utility a use case for the token so if it's a utility token it has to have a use case or 
over time the speculative asset or i should say the speculative characteristics of the price of that particular token will dwindle it will it will head near zero it won't go to zero but it will head very close to zero to the point where there's no volume that's how tokens die they don't go to zero uh they normally just fizz out and you, you never you know a lot of the uh, the exchanges end up dropping them and it, and it just just goes to nearly no type of liquid market out there so that's what you want to make sure you know you just keep in mind and as i've stated brave browser is a great example of a good crypto blockchain company utilizing their token economics model in the right way before we get into things though i do want to give a shout out to my channel sponsors for today we've got moonlambotees.com i just got some more merch from them actually check those guys out you're actually able to save 25 percent if you use the promo code cryptoblood25 but unfortunately that promo code will only be available for another five days so i think that's ending on this coming friday that's friday the 14th so make sure you guys get over to moonlambotees.com and copy some merch if you wanted some if you've been kind of holding off on it get over there crypto blood 25 save 25 percent off they don't just have tees they got hoodies they've got all types of stuff and they've got a summer collection that uh that's available now on the site you'll see that at the top there's a little uh menu item for that so again check them out moonlambotees.com and also smartcash.cc they're another one of my channel sponsors faster than visa and mastercard no processing fees they were rated number one crypto in brazil in 2018 so again thanks to both of those companies for sponsoring crypto bloods channel so let's go ahead and get right into it people we're going to look at this um heat map first and as you can see bitcoin had a nice little pop i think we had a little short squeezing going on earlier this morning about three or four hours ago bitcoin is up again 3.6 ethereum is up five percent bitcoin cash is up three percent litecoin up 11 percent it's been on a rip people uh this is ahead of the halvening coming up i think we've got uh i don't know how many days are left but it's coming up so you got a lot of fomo with that and um i think what will happen is after the halving you'll see a pullback that's normally what happens just letting you know be prepared to maybe take a little bit of profits after the halving occurs but as you can see here with the chart we had a nice short squeeze that occurred a few hours ago took out a lot of shorts i'm sure and uh we knocked right up against 8100 that is still you know kind of where i was telling you guys at this point where we needed to uh break above and as you see we're right there at the moment i'm still feeling like this area is somewhat of a resistance point 8100 8150 area so if we don't see any action above that um we're gonna head lower but i will say you know this looks like a triple bottom that definitely looks like a triple bottom so we'll have to see what happens here people but uh we could trade in the channel you know this is a channel forming here how many days now since the third so about seven days worth of channeling going on here normally what professional traders would do is sell the tops buy the bottoms until some type of news comes out that creates a breakout up or down either way but it looks like we are in a channel right now people so just keep that in mind the first article is out of coin telegraph that i want to really address out the gate is about this ccn i can't believe they're shutting down people they cite google update for loss of search visibility and they rely solely on ads to pay their over 60 employees so it says their top cryptocurrency media site ccn is shutting down today june 10th according to an announcement on their website the post written by jonas don't know how to say his last name director and founder of ccn markets and hawkfish as states that the reason behind the closure is a large drop off in traffic from google searches following a june 3rd google core update the founder writes that the crypto news sites traffic fell over 71 percent on mobile overnight the founder notes that while traffic levels have been low in the past the addition of new members to the team means that they cannot continue to operate in these conditions on advertiser revenue the post cites data from citrix.com 
noting that crypto news site Coindesk saw a 34% drop, while Cointelegraph reportedly saw a 21% drop on mobile as well. The founder states that they will be moving the CCN team to HVY.com, a news platform for journalists. In the post, Jonas also notes that not only crypto sites have been affected by the Google update, adding specifically that British tabloid, the Daily Mail, has seen a large drop in its visibility as well. Some people online have speculated that clickbait headlines are behind the loss of visibility for the Daily Mail, which reportedly lost half of its organic web traffic. However, the announcement notes that the reasoning behind certain sites losing visibility is not able to be determined. He says, unless someone, anyone who actually worked on the June 2019 core update at Google explains what is going on. All we can do is guess, speculate, and experiment as far as our own bank accounts allow us to. I don't know why they keep saying CNN, but CCN was founded six years ago, originally going by the name of Crypto Coin News before rebranding to its current moniker. A founder also goes on to say that if Google thinks that CCN all of a sudden, remember, literally overnight, is bad then why not give us the chance to understand the why and give us a way to change before any major update instead we are kicked in the teeth overnight with zero knowledge of what we've done wrong impacting a team of 60 plus people and six years of work is evaporated ccn's post ends with a list of demands to google including giving three months notice of expected changes from Google Core updates explaining what a company can do to change if it falls into the risk zone for losing traffic and having national governments create a political task force to inspect search engine updates for the conservation of our democracies, our freedom of speech and our freedom of press and our freedom of information. Ha! <laughs> you think that's still around? You think that still exists, man? Come on. This is crazy though, people. Absolutely crazy. Let me know your thoughts about this. I'm sure I already know what you guys think isn't this sad this is just crazy and it really just shows um you know where we are with with things i think we're too centralized with these uh mega corporations i'm not like elizabeth warren though i don't think we should be uh <laughs> breaking these companies up but at some some way we need to have some type of oversight or something man i don't know what you guys let me know any thoughts that, that you may have do we just move to a new platform it's kind of hard to, to move everyone off of a Google platform because they're so pervasive, it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna be honest, it's not gonna happen. Uh, they're, they're on our phones, they're in our homes, they're in our cars now, like, it's just crazy. Google is everywhere, and um, we gotta come up with some effective way to, to fix this. I don't know, you guys let me know again, but RIP to CCN.com. Man, I used to curate news from there all the time second article is coming out of null tx and it is about the four upcoming brave browser changes to look forward to i wanted to get this to you guys thought this would be of your liking it says here the first one reddit tipping is in the works they say while brave mainly aims to reward content creators by allowing others to tip them in bat the company also looks beyond traditional offerings whereas Twitch and YouTube are the more popular supported content creation platforms as of right now. It is crucial to explore every single option. Integrating support for tipping Reddit users, assuming they are verified, is one way of ensuring the Brave browser becomes more commonly used in the future. While it remains to be seen how successful this integration will be, there are precedents for tipping Reddit users. Reddit Gold is the most obvious example, albeit several cryptocurrency tip bots have come and gone over the past few years as well. As such, there is a genuine chance this new feature will spark a major increase in overall Brave user numbers. Users will also be able to tip Reddit users as part of their auto contribution settings vimeo so it looks like vimeo will be supported soon as one would come to expect youtube and twitch are not the only big content creation video platforms worth keeping an eye on vimeo which not necessarily as commonly used in most parts of the world is still a pretty popular solution in terms of video content as such it would make a lot of sense for the brave team to effectively introduce support for vimeo both in terms of tipping and verifying as is the case with reddit as well it remains a bit unclear when both of these platforms will be supported officially it seems a new brave browser update is coming in the next few weeks or months 
which is always worth keeping an eye out on. Third one here, we've got Android ads coming next week. For mobile users, the wait for a brave browser solution has been somewhat lengthy one. Android users will finally be able to view advertisements and earn bats while using the Brave browser. Up until now, the functionality was not accessible yet, but it seems it will roll out on June 13th. Lastly, we've got MetaMask fork integration. As convenient as the Brave browser may look, there is still growing demand for two-way wallet support. Screenshots confirm the upcoming browser version will include MetaMask fork support, which is something a lot of people will be more than happy with. This will also make it easier for users to transfer their bat balance to and from the browser's built-in wallet, which will improve the overall user experience. All things considering, it's still a good change. So I think those are great. Um, this article does not mention, however, the fact that uh, Brave Browser is also working on Twitter. There were leaks and rumors about this maybe about three or four weeks ago. So I think that's something else that they're working on and we should be uh, looking out for. And I just wanna definitely give a shout out to all my BAT supporters, for those who tip me on YouTube, on my website. Um, greatly appreciate it, guys, I really do. I wish there was a way I could see who tips. Um, that way I can give you a direct shout out. But again, thank you guys for that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about Brave Browser. Do you use it? How do you like it? It's, it's, it's pretty much on par with, with uh, Chrome now. You, you're able to you know have your extensions installed this thing is definitely better than chrome so hats off to brave browser for doing their thing um i actually didn't expect anything less seeing that the ceo helped create mozilla it's a no-brainer that's why i went with them as far as uh buying tokens that are what 10 nine cents Last article for today, guys, is Siam Commercial Bank denies plans to use XRP after all. Thailand's largest commercial bank, the Siam Commercial Bank, SCB, which recently tweeted on possibility of launching an XRP-based system, decided suddenly to issue a statement according to which the bank has no plan on using XRP. It says, as we already wrote, Ripple was under the strange pump action from various Twitter personas and even media. However, one bank decided to say that's enough and put the end to this fake gibberish. Thailand's largest commercial bank, SCB, denied on Twitter that they are planning to start using Ripple's token, XRP. Contrary to earlier indications, the bank's denial was communicated in a tweet published on June 7th, which was a couple days ago. However, there seems to be a little misunderstanding since it's obvious from the photos screenshots above that this bank had obviously intended to use or include xrp into their system the text that has now been removed from twitter from june 5th says and as you can see below xrp system will be announced soon please follow our official schedule on social media again huh interesting reaction from the xrp focus community followed almost immediately some blame the bank for incompetence while others believe that with this denial the bank is just trying to adhere to terms of non-disclosure agreements one of the explanations that some think is most probable is that a member of the scb's social media team was unaware that such an agreement existed and acted without consulting the bank's legal team based on the bank's previous interactions with XRP. However, how can that even be possible when on May 18th, one user came across the bank message and published a snapshot in Twitter that said, send money abroad today at the cheapest rates via Ripple. It goes on to say this goes in line with the bank's previous statements. Bear in mind that in May, SCB said that they will be using blockchain technology, but that further announcements would be made regarding using XRP and added it would be using blockchain technology. They actually conducted a cross-border payment trial using it, Ripple. Interesting. So uh, what do you guys think? I mean, it says here that Thailand is still one of the most progressive uh, crypto adopting countries when it comes to banking and, and the government or whatever but i don't know you think that they're just kind of covering their tracks and they're actually going to use xrp or do you think that uh they've reversed for some reason they've seen something or didn't couldn't come to terms on, on something and they reversed their deal with xrp or i should say ripple i don't know i don't really care <laughs> i just wanted to report on it thought it was interesting and would love to get your feedback on that, people. That's pretty much it, though, for today, ladies and gents. Got to give a shout-out again to my man, Into the Fray. 
He's always dropping those hot tracks. Pimp C, Shattered Dreams. Rest in peace, Pimp C. Long live UGK. And make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. And again, check out MoonLamboTees.com. You can save that 25% if you use the promo code CryptoBlood25. That ends on Friday, people. That's pretty much it. That's my two Satoshis for June 10th, 2019. I'm out of here, people. Holla! I mean, the eyes are fire.